amazing to see this. Why is it so important? It, it doesn't look like much, does it? But this is, is very deliberately a small, discreet object because this, this is contraband. Um, you, you could end up being burnt at stake if you were caught with this thing. But I think this book, this actual book in front of us here is the most important printed book in the English language ever. Tyndale's words and phrases are ones that still echo down the centuries. In the twinkling of an eye, eat, drink and be merry. In the beginning was the word. They're expressions that have shaped the English language. But it wasn't the beauty of his prose that so inflamed Tyndale's adversaries. There's a series of particular word choices that Tyndale very deliberately makes, which are direct pointed attacks on the power of the, of the church establishment. So, for example, where Jesus says, and upon this rock I will build my... Church? That's the traditional view. But Tyndale translates that Greek word ecclesia as congregation which is not an institution, not something headed by a pope, but a collection of people, a community. And so this is a, a, a direct attack on the idea of hierarchy and suggesting that all Christians stand equal before God. So it's about the body of the faithful making the church, not the hierarchy, not the bishops, the people. This is absolutely revolutionary, I think. It, it is, and if we look at the beginning of Mark's Gospel, where Jesus is preaching, repent and believe the Gospel, which to our eyes sounds you know, almost innocuous. Mm. But the Latin the equivalent of that had traditionally been, in effect, do penance, focused on confession to a priest and performing penance, rather than repentance as something that's, that's inward, that happens between the believer and God with no need for any intermediary. What is it that the Catholic hierarchy are so afraid of here? Well, on one level, they're, they're afraid because their entire institution is, is under direct attack, but it's threatening at a much deeper level. When you're telling people that there's no such thing as a church, there's only a congregation. When you're telling people that there's no such thing as sacramental penance, there's just sort of feeling sorry within your own heart, then you're threatening to lead people on a path to hell. So from the point of view of the hierarchy, who are responsible before God for the souls of the English people, this is something which is absolutely their responsibility to stop and to stop by any means necessary.